Hi everybody and welcome back to Mad Scientists. Today we are going to be doing a experiment called walking water. Some people call it rainbow water, but uh, we call it walking water. So as you can see in front of me on the table here, I have seven cups. Four of them are filled with water. Three of them are not. And how we are going to do this experiment is we are going to put food coloring in the cups that have water in them. And then we are going to put paper towels in between each cup. So actually, I'm gonna need to spread these out just a little bit. But I wanted them all in the shot or as many of them in the shot as I could have so you could see them to start out with. So what you need to do this, just like I said, are seven cups. These cups are supposed to work pretty well. Water, paper towels, and food color. That is all that you need. So what you're gonna do, you put water in the first, third, fifth, and seventh cups. So all the odd numbered cups get water in them. And then you put red food coloring, five drops into the first and seventh cups. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are my one and seven because mine are sitting in a circle. And then you put yellow food coloring into the third cup. Five drops again. One, two, three, four, five. And then you put five drops of blue food coloring in the fifth cup. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Then what we're gonna do, I'm going to show you how to put the paper towels in this direction because you can see these three cups right here in front of me. And then I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see what happens from this perspective from the top. So all you need to do, you need to get one end of the paper towel in the cup with water in it and one end in a blank cup. So on that side, it's red and then a blank cup. On this side, it's yellow and then a blank cup. This side, it's yellow and a blank cup. Oops, might have them too far apart. This side, it's blue and a blank cup. And blue and a blank cup. You could probably do this with just six cups because seven and one both have red in them, but that is okay. It also worked, the experiment works a little better uh, with thicker paper towels, which we don't have. So uh, I also thought maybe those ones that they tear off in the half sheets might be better for this. Something else we also did not have. So. We're gonna let it go for a couple minutes. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see what's happening from this direction. So here's a status update with our cups. It's been maybe 10 minutes and it's still working its way. You'll notice the blue one is kind of dripping all over America, but that's okay. We'll readjust. It's just food coloring, it cleans up. Uh, it's not working as fast as I would have hoped. Hopefully, uh, before we're done today, you'll be able to see the cool rainbow experiment. We'll check back with another status update in just a little bit. Status update, it's been about a half an hour. Still pretty slow going around here i'm still gonna try to move everything maybe a little closer together you can see some of the water is moving into the other cups but not enough of it we'll check back in a little bit so i don't know how long it's been now but if you can see 
We're starting to change colors here. We got some orange, purple's not working out as much as you would think, and then the green. So this is what the walking water experiment does. It takes the colors from two of the full cups and starts to dump it into one of the other cups that's empty. And as the water mixes, so do the food coloring colors. We hope you enjoyed this mad scientist experiment and we can't wait to see you back at the library soon. Have a good day.